Hey everybody, Matt here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Move and Rotate command in LibraCAD. So for those that aren't aware, or just as a gentle reminder, LibraCAD is available for free as an open source 2D program. And what you're looking at here is the home page for LibraCAD. It's located at LibraCAD.org. Okay, so we're ready to start with a blank LibraCAD document. I went ahead and set my grid up the way I usually do. What we want to do today is play around with the move and rotate command, which is found right here. So let's go ahead and draw some simple geometry and we'll start playing around with the command. I'll try and show you what you can do with it. So we're gonna draw first a circle. So I'm gonna choose the center point circle command. I've got my snap to grid on down here. So I'm gonna use the left mouse button and click and then move the mouse to draw a little circle. Left mouse click again. And there's my first circle. I'm going to go ahead and hop up here, left mouse click again, move the mouse, left mouse click again. So now I have two circles. I'm going to hit the escape key on the keyboard to exit the circle drawing command. I'm going to hold down the left mouse button and drag over these two circles to select both of them. Then I'm going to come down here to the move and rotate command. So the first thing this command wants is a reference point with which to rotate the selected geometry, in this case, our two circles. So I'm gonna rotate right about the origin of the document, which is the center of the small circle. I'm gonna left mouse click right there to set that point. As soon as I move the mouse away, you can see that it's made a copy of both circles because both circles are selected. And the uh, upper circle, the larger circle, is actually 45 degrees counterclockwise from the original circle. So I'm going to move back to the origin of the drawing, left mouse click again, and up comes this dialog box. And it's in here where the power of the move and rotate command really is. There are three options inside this dialog box. There's delete original, keep original, or multiple copies. We're gonna start with first delete original. So what this means is as soon as I hit the OK button, it's gonna make a copy of both of these circles. It's going to rotate both circles about the origin of the document, origin of the drawing. Uh, it's going to rotate both circles 45 degrees counterclockwise and then paste a copy of both circles. So they'll both go over in this area. Okay, so if I hit OK, so that's what it did. It made a copy of both circles, rotated about the origin of the drawing, and then pasted both circles back into place 45 degrees from the original. And then it went ahead and deleted the original. Okay, so that's what it did. When it does the paste, in this case, pasting in two different circles, they're individual pieces of geometry. They're separate entities. So I can select either entity and do whatever I want with it after the paste has taken place. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and left mouse click just to select the larger circle and then hit the delete key. We'll hop back up here to circles, center point. We'll draw another couple of circles here. This time we'll make a sort of a ring, okay? Hit the escape key. Now let's go ahead and click the mouse, the left mouse button and drag over both. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just drag over the ring. Okay, so only this entity now is selected. This entity is not selected. 
Let's go over to move and rotate. I still want to rotate about the origin of the drawing. So let's left mouse click right there. And you can see when I move the mouse, it has a copy now of just the ring because that's the only thing that was selected. And it's 45 degrees off from the original. Let's mouse click, left mouse click again on the origin of the drawing. And there's our dialog box. This time we're going to say keep original. And we're going to change the angle to minus 45 degrees. That should put a copy of the ring right over here. And it should also keep the original copy. So if I hit OK, that's indeed what it did. All right. So let's get rid of the copy and let's get rid of the larger circle and we'll just left click and drag over this top circle we'll do select move and rotate i'm going to go back over to the origin of the drawing and left mouse click so there's my copy of the circle that's selected I'm going to left mouse click on the origin of the drawing again. Bring up the dialog box. And this time I'm going to make multiple copies. Let's make seven. And we'll keep them at 45 degrees from each other. So what that should do is copy this larger circle. Put one copy here, one copy here. So that's two. Third copy here, fourth copy, fifth copy, sixth copy, and then the seventh copy right here. And it should keep this original. So we should wind up with eight larger circles all centered around this one smaller circle. And there you go. Very quick, very easy. Looks like a bolt hole pattern. Okay, so let's, let's try and do something uh, quite different. This let me get rid of these. This time, let's try and do some freehand drawing. So I'm going to choose freehand line. I'm going to click off of the snap to grid. So now I'm able to draw anywhere and not constrained to just grid locations. So now I'm going to just click and hold the left mouse button and just kind of draw this really strange, very organic shape. Escape key on the keyboard to exit the free line drawing command. This one, freehand line drawing command. Now I'm gonna go ahead and left click and drag over my very organic shape. I'm going to click on snap to grid down here and I'm going to choose move and rotate. Click on the origin of my drawing. Actually twice. That brings up the dialog box. Let's make one copy and let's make it 180 degrees from the original. So that should take this entity, rotate it, and put it right down here, which is exactly what it did. So very powerful. All right, so let's let's add a few more shapes here. Let's take uh, let's use some uh, let's draw. Let's draw a rectangle, I guess. Let's draw a rectangle. Well, I guess it's really going to wind up being a square. And we'll put a circle in the center of the square. And in fact, we'll make it a ring. And we'll... Add some more lines here. What we're trying to do is draw a little bit more of a complex shape one time. 
and then show you how you can use the move and rotate command to replicate that shape and wind up with a whole bunch of copies, some known angle between each other. So there's my more complex shape. Yeah, let's let's do one other thing. Put some crosshairs there to indicate where the center is. Escape to exit our drawing command. Left click and drag over our shape. Move and rotate. I still want to move, rotate around the origin of the drawing. So I'm going to click there actually twice. That brings up the dialog box. Now, what I want to do is make a copy of this and put it over here. So that's 180 degrees from where it is. So we'll type in 180, hit OK, and there's a copy. Very quick, very easy. So do you get the idea here that it really doesn't matter how complex the shape is that you're moving and rotating? It can be a very complicated shape, and it makes it very easy to this command makes it very easy to make copies of various geometric entities and then separate them by some known angle. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea of what you can do with this move and rotate command. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but I recommend that you try it because once you get used to it, it really can speed up your, your drawing which can lead to a whole lot more creativity with the program itself, which leads to a whole lot more fun. All right. Thanks for watching. Till next time, we'll see you.